This episode of That Bites is brought to you by Firefox. What is up guys, and I'm going to show you how to temporarily fix the App Store crash in iOS 6 on um, your iPod Touch. So let's get started. Alright, so uh, many people have been reporting a crash um, on iOS 6 um, on the App Store when you search an app or something. It'll just crash on, I mean, without a notice, it'll not even give an error or anything. So I'm going to show you how to temporarily fix that. Like I said, it's temporary. It won't last forever, um, but I'm going to show you a technique that'll um, do it until, and I've emailed Apple and um, she said um, that I understand that since you have updated iOS 6, you have been unable to use the search feature on the App Store. I'm reading this. Um, and Apple is currently working towards a resolution for the issue that you have reported, so you receive an email after the matter has been investigated and further information is available. Uh, so they're going to basically email me and um, tell me when this has been fixed, and that'll be um, pretty nice. So, um, I'm just going to show you an example of what will happen and how to fix it. Alright, so here's my iPod Touch, and um, this is what's been going on. Um, I don't think it's going to do it because I, I did the thing that I'm going to show you, um, so it might not um, fail on me. So, um, you would search an app, and I'm just going to search uh, something YouTube, I guess. Okay, YouTube, and then while it's loading like this, sometimes it'll crash. But once it lights like that loads, it'll just go like this. It'll just go like that. And I click the home button, so you know that's how I did that. But um, it'll just crash, and that's pretty annoying when you're trying to download an app. And for me, it did it every time. I could not download one app. Now when I'm updating apps that's different but when I'm searching an app and trying to download something it will not work. I cannot download a single app that I searched um, for on this. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you how to fix it. What you need to do and it's not it's not complicated at all. Anyone can do this. Is go ahead and plug in your iPod touch to your computer. And then once you heard that noise that Windows makes, or um, your iPad makes that noise, that you know, diddling, you know, <laughs> um, then you know it's connected. So you're gonna go ahead and reboot your iPod, and don't worry, this will not delete anything. So go ahead and hold the two buttons, the home button and the uh, power on and off button together, or you can go ahead and shut down your iPod and turn it back on. But this way, it reboots it automatically. Okay. So go ahead and wait for that to reboot. And I, this will not work. I think some somebody said this will work for a day. Um, but I just tried it today, and um, you know that's that's it. But um, somebody said it'll work for only a day. Um, so this is what I will. I, I'm thinking you can do when you go to sleep. You can turn off your iPod, just shut it down completely. Shut it down completely so, you know, when you hold the power button and you slide it and it'll shut down completely. Every time you go to bed, just do that. You know, make it a habit so that, um, you know, the next day when you're trying to uh, download an app, you don't have to reboot your iPod just to download an app. Um, so that's a technique that I think will hopefully work for me too while Apple resolves its problem. Okay, so it's it's good. Go ahead and go on the App Store and try to download an app. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oop. There we go. And. Then should load. One thing I've noticed with the new iOS 6 update on the App Store, it's it's kind of slow. So go ahead and wait for that to load. See, it's 
load in and that's done so you can see it's kind of slow but it still works so it didn't crash and um, you know it worked for me I don't know why but I just I needed a refresher and um, hopefully it'll just temporarily fix it until Apple releases their update so thank you for watching and let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video Firefox. It's different by design. Free, fast, flexible, and secure. Available for desktop and Android. Made by Mozilla. The nonprofit dedicated to promoting openness, innovation, and opportunity on the internet. Download Firefox now. Link is in the description below. Alright guys, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me how I did. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So, goodbye.